It's that time of the year again, a new Louis Vuitton collection drop. Hi and very welcome. My name is Mary. This is my channel Lumi Level Up and I'm a luxury lover on an average income trying to be more mindful with my money. I'm quite relieved every time Louis Vuitton drops a collection and there's nothing I'm dying for to get. Because honestly, these collections keep dropping and dropping and dropping. And who can afford to buy something from each launch? Me, certainly not. But let's make this video not so much about me, but about the Louis Vuitton Spring Summer Cruise Collection 2022, which just recently launched. Oftentimes it's the cruise collections that really get me, because often they have something summery, springy, light and joyful, playful to them, which really catches me. And this collection does have some of these elements as well, but not to the degree that it would get me tempted. When we look at the bags, I think there are two main bag shapes starring in the collection, the Cousine and the Loop. The Loop bag is reminiscent of the Louis Vuitton Croissant bag, but evolved. More structure, more leather, more hardware, an additional chain. It does come with two detachable straps, a leather one and a gold chain. The chain is a tad shorter than the leather strap is, but I personally would have wished that these two straps would serve different purposes, at more different lengths for more versatility. But both do fit into the shoulder bag trend, so on the shorter side, that has been going on for a while now. But who knows how long it will be a thing. It wouldn't be a reason for me to not get that bag, because obviously I could just use a strap from a different bag, if that is something I would want to do and use it with a longer strap. But I just think it could have been better thought through with different strap length. But I see this bag becoming very popular and very trendy, maybe even the it bag for the upcoming season. That's exactly why I won't get it. I see it being super hot, then being quite overdone and done quite fast. But that's just my prediction. And of course, who cares if you love the bag, wear the bag. And I can totally see why people fall in love with that shape. Same bag, different material and pattern. The loop with the light 1854 print, which is canvas, but uncoated. So basically fabric. I have to admit, this bag has the springy, light, playful vibe I mentioned earlier that I do love about cruise collections. So if I would get a loop bag, it would be rather this one than the classic monogram, even though it's about 200 euro more expensive. You don't have the Vachetta leather to worry about, but you might have to worry about the light fabric. So it might be some trouble to maintain and keep clean. And because of the very trendy factor, I'm going to skip that one as well. Let's take a look at the Noé of this collection, which is quite interesting because on the German website it is considered as a wallet and on the US website it is a purse. So for sure it's quite a teeny tiny micro bag. The colors really do speak to me. I love the pastel 1854 print with the coral pink leather details. But the price point is quite spicy to me. For that price, you could get an actual regular sized Noé, not only one that is considered a wallet in Germany. So an easy pass for me as well. Same color combination, really beautiful, is the Petite Mal. I love the colors, I love the look, even though the strap might be nearly somewhat too heavy on that tiny bag for my personal taste. For me, it's just with such a small bag that is not fitting a lot, the price point is just too heavy for me. I don't see myself ever getting a Petite Mal, but if it's a bag you like and you are considering, the Cruise Collection one might be the one to go for. It for sure has a cute design. A bag I've always been a fan of when it comes to value for money, even though the prices have increased a lot over the past years, the Alma BB. I do already own one in EP leather and I wouldn't mind to add another one to my collection one day. And if I had to buy a bag from this collection, it would most probably be this one. 
I think the pastel works so pretty with the light yellow. I see this bag so much for spring, early summer, maybe Easter events. Pretty little Alma BB. Even though I have to confess at this point that I'm not the biggest fan of the 1854 print itself. You might remember this print has already been featured in previous collections and there I did like it even less because the colors were bolder and the contrast was harder. I think in this light color it works quite well. It does give it something, especially on this little silk scarf or maybe even on this beige twilly. I like and yeah, could be a piece I would consider, maybe, if I would not have spent so much already in the past weeks. So, a piece I like, but I'm going to skip out of mindfulness reasons. But there are darker colorways of that pattern as well. The Twilly in Burgundy and Grey. And they don't work that well in my personal opinion. Let's take another look at these colors featuring on the bucket head. I still don't know who can pull off bucket hats without looking like a fisherman, but you do you. Four colors to choose from. Beige, burgundy, blue and grey, which is nearly black. I wouldn't like most of these colors as a print on a bag, except the beige, which works very well, as we saw on previous pieces we talked about in this video. I like it with the pink or the blue leather details and maybe I could see the grey with a very harsh contrast working on a bag. But nah, it's nothing I necessarily would want to add to my collection. And for those of you who are wondering, it's the year when the company was founded and Louis Vuitton opened up his first boutique. The On The Go Tote has orange leather details and interior. But this bag is used as an everyday bag from many people and as their workhorse bag, like the new Neverfull. And you should take a moment to think about it if a workhorse in such a light color in fabric works for you and does the job and will be enjoyable in this collection. I'm not going to go through each and every one of them, but there are different variations and colors of the Kazan bag which appeared in several collections recently. There is a Cousin BB, there is a Cousin PM, there is a Cousin Belt Bag. But I think except new seasonal colors, there's not too much new about it. And I didn't get very warm with that bag shape yet. I know Louis Vuitton is pushing it a lot and dropping a lot of variations of that bag. To me it feels like they try to make it an it thing and a lot of people got into that bag and bought it and love it. But it didn't get to me yet and I didn't fall in love. So these new colors, they don't get me very excited. For me, that already kind of sums up this cruise collection. There is somehow missing something new. Most of the pieces are just variations and different patterns or colors of already existing bags. The biggest news might be the Louis Vuitton loop. But even that one has kinda already been around as the vintage croissant. Oh, and maybe I should name the twist pochette as a novelty, because I haven't seen a bag like this before. There it's going on quite a lot with collars and squares and huge hardware and the price point of 3000 euro. I think you have to have quite a bold style to be able to pull this bag off. And it's for sure not for everyone. I'm not sure if this collection might drop in waves and there might be more to come, but so far I think it wasn't too spectacular. Yeah, as I already mentioned at the beginning of this video, nothing did hook me to a point that I would consider buying. But what about you? What are your thoughts on the Louis Vuitton Cruise Collection 2022? Did you fall in love with anything? Are you considering to buy anything? Or is there already a package on its way to you? Make sure to let us know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Hope to see you next time and bye! Versatility. Versatility. If I had to bet... <laughs> and if I had to buy... No! So gewollt, Freundchen. Jeder weiß, du willst einen coolen Blopper machen, der so klingt, als willst du keinen coolen Blopper machen. He is my lovely husband. Come on, lovely husband. Come to the...
Wampi, 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 Wampi,